Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the weekly review. Uh, later than usual because uh, Blizzard had 8 hour maintenance, which is, in my opinion, unacceptable. And we're getting more maintenance today, so that's uh, pretty much epic fail. Like, uh, as I said before, if you're gonna release something, at least make sure you're releasing it right and you don't have to do more. Because we waited so long already and now we have to wait more today. So I was also triggered by the announcement that Season 4 is going to have the same affixes as um, uh, the previous seasons. Pretty much no changes there, except that they're buffing Afflicted, which is unacceptable. This is the, the, the worst of the affixes, probably it's hard enough already, and now they're making it even worse. Uh, so yeah, it's not, it's not a good experience so far for me. Uh, I, I'm yet to play the uh, event that's uh, apparently available right now. Um, it's a time limited event. It seems you have to do a bazillion matches to get all the rewards, which is also not sounding quite right, but let's hope at least it's a blast and it doesn't get boring way too quickly so you can actually grind everything that you want to. All right, so uh, having said that, uh, looking into uh, what's coming this week, if anybody plays into M+, it's going to be fortified, storming, and bursting. This is actually not a bad combination of affixes, and keep in mind that we don't know yet the date for Season 4, but we are approaching the end of Season 3, which means that if you want to push, if you're missing something, some dungeons, some portals, etc., you're basically running out of time to get them, and this is actually not a bad week to push because the affixes do not extend the duration of the dungeon itself because they don't bolster the mobs or the bosses. And uh, the only problem, I guess, is the bursting, which I've said many times, if you have problems with bursting and people are just uh, rolling the stacks, etc., dispel yourself, let the DPS die. Maybe they learn, maybe they don't. But, you know, um, it's, it's up to them, mostly. Uh, to stop pressing buttons when they don't need to, etc. Uh, so don't worry too much about it. Also, popping defensives are very, very powerful against, against bursting. Um, so just keep that in mind and don't sweat too much over it. If the DPS dies, then, you know, uh, it's it's on them. Uh, storming, just be careful not to get knocked up by a tornado in the worst possible moment. And of course, trash is going to be harder, so watch your tank in some of the harder pools because they can perish very easily. All right, so having said that, I did play my Shaman uh, a lot last week as well. I'm still going to open his enhancement because I think the biggest upgrade I can get is that um, trinket from uh, Smolderon. Um, but other than that, it's it's. I don't think there's much I can get. I think I have a couple of uh, 83 pieces, but uh, that's about that. Um, okay, that that's not the smaller and trinket, so I don't think that's gonna be a huge upgrade. Um, all right, uh, I'll check this out later. We have wrist, we don't care. We have pants that we don't care. No tertiaries. We have another wrists that we don't care. I guess. Um, then we have a waist with a socket, which is crit mastery. Um, I will have to check what the, uh, catalyst turns that into because crit master is actually not bad. Uh, I, well, actually you're looking into my uh, healing belt. Uh, my enhancement belt, uh, is a 483. So I can upgrade that. It has a socket already. But I need to sim if it's going to be better with crit or what it transforms to if I catalyst it. Uh, and the boots. Um, boots are actually good. Let me check what are my uh, enhancement boots because I don't think they're... Yeah, they're 483. So that's actually going to be an upgrade because uh, it's heavy mastery. Yeah, so that's going to be some tough choices. I don't think the trinket is going to sim very well. But um, I can definitely upgrade my belt. And I can definitely upgrade my boots as enhancement. And I'll just have to sim to see uh, which one is better. I'll do that later. And now uh, I'm just going to go and open a few more votes. Um, I think I played... Uh, I definitely played my monk a little bit. I think I have a key on my druid. And then I played the poly a little bit more this week. So uh, there's going to be a few things to open. Uh, I definitely didn't play the evoker. I just don't feel like it. It's, uh, you know, uh, probably having some changes coming up. Although they did change it already. So I, I don't know if we're correct to expect more. Um, just sounds wrong. But anyway, um, there should be a PTR for Season 4 soon as well. And uh, hopefully that's going to be 
fun enough to keep us engaged while uh, we're waiting for the season to come along. Uh, but yeah, other than that, uh, I guess I'll be doing the Battle Royale thing, so uh, maybe even stream some of it later if you're interested to catch that. And we are opening as Mistriver. Monk is not in a bad spot, we need a better ring for sure. Instead, we are getting a shoulder, which we already have at Mythic level, so that, that yeah, I think that completes a socket for us, uh, which is not a bad thing for sure. Uh, let me do this very quickly. Although at this point of the season, uh, okay, that's that. At this point of the season, it's uh, kind of irrelevant. Also, I have socket here. I have socket here. Maybe I can put it on the bracers or something, uh, or if I had a better ring. But um, not many options where to use that socket whatsoever. But uh, yeah, as, as I usually say, if you guys have better luck than me in vault, then uh, you're probably in a good spot. Because mine is kind of crappy. I had the total of uh, probably two good weeks throughout the season, and that's that. Alrighty, uh, let's check the Druid. Um, which uh, gear is actually not that good, so at least uh, I should have pretty good chances to get something on the Druid. But every time I say that and I get some uh, crappy item that I already have. Yes, we got it, Plunderstorm. Uh, trinket upgrades, weapon upgrades, we have crappy neck. Neck is actually probably going to be the biggest thing. Uh, so let's see. We got a neck. Alright, verse mastery. I guess... Uh, for M+, plus, it's not the end of the world. Uh, it's better than the crit mastery that I have. So uh, I think I'll just take that. Small upgrade. Not the correct stats, but it is what it is. Maybe I can go ahead and socket it if I want to bother this late in the season, but uh, yeah, maybe I don't. Uh, I just play the student one key uh, per week just to keep it there for, for next season, um, and that's about it. All right, uh, as I said, I didn't play Evoker, so I'm going to check my Priest and leave the Paladin for dessert because uh, I, did, uh, I didn't I did do that many keys. I, didn't, I think I managed to run four in total, just to have two slots opened. Uh, which is kind of sad because the Paladin is actually the most gear tune of my ults overall. So uh, obviously I'm not going to get something amazing there. But at least I can open in any of the three specs. Um, so uh, that gives me options. Uh, the Priest, I, I hope I did one key on the Priest. Maybe I didn't, but uh, we're about to find out. Um, what do we need here? Neck. I can upgrade this neck, so it's not crucial. We get a neck, uh, we got mythic level huh, boots with spirit. Uh, crit haste, crit verse. Verse is not bad in general because um, obviously I need a little bit more. But I don't run that high keys and also my uh, current boots have uh, avoidance on them. So I'll just pick that. I don't think I have... Oh, I have two tokens. So maybe... I'll get a socket for the very last week that I'm never going to use. Actually, you can convert these and get gold, I think. So that's uh, that's another option that you have at the, the end of the season. It's not a lot of gold, but it's something. Alrighty, and then uh, the Paladin. Uh, I don't even know what spec I'm going to open with. Uh, as I think I have decent gear in every slot for every spec right now, including tank tank weapon, including trinkets, maybe a tank trinket, but I think I'm just going to open as Retribution or something and then uh, hope for the best. Uh, I've been playing mostly Retribution lately. As you probably know, not a fan of the current healing uh, spec of the Paladin. Oh, protection. We were probably farming something. All right, so uh, it's going to be Retribution instead. And uh, I don't know what we need to get. One of the 483 upgraded is going to be nice. Uh, we got the Egg Shell, which I think has a Dismal proc rate. Uh, definitely the Porcelain Crab is better. Definitely Pips is better. And um, Haste Verse Ring instead of Haste Mastery. I guess I can pick up the ring for uh, tanking because Haste Verse is not going to be bad for tanking. Although you do want Mastery for tanking as well. Uh, let me see. Do we have any tokens? We don't have any tokens. Hmm... 
that's interesting. So I'm not picking that. Um, maybe I'm picking, but this ring has a socket. The ring that I have has a socket. So it's going to be six item level upgrade, but then you're losing the socket and you're losing a lot of mastery. So that's a no-go. That's a no-go. Maybe this trinket is good for... Nah, it, it cannot be good for tanking. Um, not better than what I have. All right, so I guess that's uh, that's just a sad week. Did I pick items on anything? Yeah, the druid had a neck. Everything else is tokens. Great design, boys. All right, so um, I'm going to go try the new event. I hope it's a blast. Uh, I hope also we have Season 4 coming up soon with uh, some PTR testing, etc. to keep us entertained. Do let me know what you guys are planning to do for the time we have left in Season 3. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye, take care, and get out of here.